Ladies and gentlemen, finally we are live. Yes, I had some technical difficulties, but I am now live. Please let me know if you can hear me, you can see me, you can see the presentation right here. Uh, let me try that. Yes, you can see everything is okay. And if that is the case, let me know in the chat. Then I will be able to start off with this training. This is one of those great trainings that I have been looking forward to bring it to you. I'll be sharing with you the psychology behind the questions in an interview. And once we understand why some of these questions are asked in an interview, then we can be able to provide the relevant and appropriate answer for that particular point. So it's going to be a great learning session. Allow me to put it some music here. We can be able to start checking the sound is okay. Please let me know in the chat if you can hear me, you can see me, everything is okay. I'll be glad to, uh, if you are able to confirm that. So ladies and gentlemen, drop that in the chat, wherever you're following us through. If it is uh, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, let me know you're there. As I always say, if you're on LinkedIn, I would prefer you join me on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, YouTube. That's where I'm able to get most of your comments, most of your comments. So let me confirm. Are you ready? Yeah, if you are ready, let me know in the chat. I can see there is a G, G saying uh, all okay. Good, let me know that. Just checking sound here one minute that we are good to go. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, thank you. I can see Catherine saying all okay everything is okay and it seems linkedin is what is fully represented here today but i will tell you please jump over to jump over to youtube that's where you'll be able to get most of this let me see if i can get that link and post it on linkedin the comments and then you can be able to follow through who is on youtube who is on youtube you can hear me who's on youtube who's on linkedin uh, Alan, all the way in Kakuma, Karibushana. So, if you're watching the replay, you can just skip for the next three minutes, yeah? So, I'm just welcoming people for the next three minutes, then we will officially start off this. Kevin saying, we are all okay and ready to go. Thank you for the feedback. Um, I want to pick it up uh, right here. Let me know in the chat also where you're joining us from, which country, which county, which town uh, it's always exciting to see when we go over in the pub yeah over the borders uh, no longer just restricted by the uh, geographical region where we are at i am glad to see that alan you're joining us all the way in kakua karibushana kevin where are you joining us from i'll be happy to know that, that yeah uh, okay good in the next three minutes we start off oh there are even more comments on linkedin oh my god mildred i've seen yours uh, sailor you are on linkedin jean Teresa, we are already on linkedin um let me get that link to invite you to follow on youtube because that's how i can be able to see your comments it's easier when i see you on youtube or your facebook mary joining us all the way in botswana welcome to the show you will be learning tan and tan. Catherine from Guyana. Oh, super. This is good. So when I see my team from YouTube coming in, I really get excited. Esther joining us in Mombasa from Mombasa. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is um, Esther Okod in Mombasa. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Lena joining us in South Africa. Yeah. Lena, we were communicating on email. Or was it on WhatsApp? Yeah. We should finalize that conversation. I can see Tadeo joining us in Kituk, UG. That is Uganda. Welcome, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. And uh, it's just a matter of a few minutes, then we get started. Let me see who's here again on LinkedIn. Kiswa, you're there. Karibu sana. Julian, Julia and Gitonga, it's okay. Doreen, Linus, you're saying everything is perfect. Um, Hillary, very good. I can see... Sail, uh, sailor, you're saying good to go. Go ahead, please. Thank you. 
I can be able to. I'm really trying to see if I can get the link here. Things are a bit slow. Actually, I was a bit scared um, before we started because uh, my machine was acting up. I had to restart it like 10 minutes before this session started, and I was like, Whoa. That's a risk that I want. Uh, a risk that I want to do. Yeah. So let me put this link in uh, the chat on LinkedIn, and then we can officially get started. Yeah, the link is on LinkedIn now. If you're checking the comments, it's easy for you to follow me right there. Oh, there, here they are. Thank you very much. A quick roll call here. Masi, you're joining us in Kenya. Where in Kenya? I would like to know. Karen in Nairobi, Karibu Sana, Jihon, all the way in India. Welcome. I can see Rose, uh, Rose very ready. There's uh, Namu Yangi, all the way. That is Annex in Uganda, Karibu Sana. All good, all set. So I guess we just need to get started, right? Uh, good, good stuff. Good stuff. And we start right away. to today's trading session where I will be taking you into the psychology of answering questions in an interview. And, and once you understand why these questions are being asked, then it becomes easy for you to answer and provide the right answer. The psychology of answering interview questions. Today, we're going to cover three main things. The first one, I will get you to understand the psychology of interview questions. And I think this is where most people don't get it right. Because you think it's a matter of just q and I go to an interview, they'll ask me some questions, I will answer, voila, they will give me the job. But once you understand the psychology, you will see how everything falls in place. Then the second thing that I'm going to cover today, I'll take you through the five common interview questions and how you can answer them using the psychology that we will have learned. Then towards the end, I will have a Q&A session. And I would like to ask you to stick in through the Q&A session, because that is where some of the light bulb might be going on for you. Someone will ask a question that you hadn't really considered. And probably that is the same challenge that you are facing. So you are in for a treat. And as I start, I want to bring to your attention this quote from Jin Ron, where he said that, don't wish it were easier, wish you were better. I like using the same quote or rewarding it and say, things don't get easier, you get better. If you have ever gone to an interview and you felt, oh, that was the worst performance ever, I doubt if they will ever invite me for an interview again or i will ever get a job that is when you're feeling defeated you're feeling this interview thing is very difficult the bad news is that it is not going to change it is going to be the same but if you keep on practicing i can tell you you will get better so don't wish it were easier just wish you were better and by the end of this session, I can assure you when it comes to interviews, you are going to be way better in terms of answering the questions. Now, for those of you who are seeing me for the very first time, I would just want to do a very quick introduction before I start off the session. My name is Daniel Motoku. I am the founder of Career Point Solutions. And over the last 13 years, I have been serving in this space of recruitment as a career coach and also as a career advisor. In addition to that, I am a certified digital marketer, 
and uh, certified by through Google. I am a member of different organization, but a very proud member of the League of Young Professionals. On top of that, I have authored several books that I think are of value to you. Like if you check this one, Conquer the Year Ahead, Make the Next 12 Months Your Best Year Ever, you can be able to download this book for free and get started learning how to make it happen for you. We have just started the second month of the year and it is not too late for you to decide the direction that you would want your life to go in the next 12 months or even 11. You don't decide need to count till January. You can say, oh, until December. Yes, it will still work. So that is the link. Take a quick screenshot. The second book I am giving you for free today it is called The Ultimate Cover Letter Guide. 101 sample cover letters for all professionals. If you just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash cover letter, you will be able to download that book absolutely free. The other books that I've done, free of charge still, if you're interested, let me know. Drop me a comment in this video. If you're watching the replay, just drop it a comment. You can email me. You can join me on WhatsApp. By the way, we have a WhatsApp group where you can just side chat me and say, can I get this book, How to Quit Your Banking Job and Transition to NGOs and UN Jobs? If you want to change your career from stuck to soaring, pursuing new career horizon, the strategic approach to career transition. These are books that are out there for free. Our mission here at Career Point Solution, or if I haven't said, I work with Career Point Solution. I'm the founder of Career Point Solution. And our mission is to make sure that we make you more employable and we increase your earning potential. And I can assure you, by the end of this session, you will be more employable. You will have increased your earning potential. You will be sure that when you go to your next interview or upcoming interviews, you will get that job. And probably, and most likely, it will be a job that you are paying. It will be a job that you're being paid more than you're being paid now. Is that okay? Are we good? Are you ready to go? If you're ready, let me know in the chat. Say, yes, I'm ready. Are you ready? Now, this is going to be a very interesting and engaging conversation. I like to engage my audience because I don't want you to just be a um, passive consumer of this information. So my question to you, are you ready? If you're ready, drop that in the chat and let me know that you are ready. Masi, you're joining us in Kisumu, Kenya. Karibu sana. Repeat the names of the books, please. Aha. Uh -huh. There's the Conquer the Year Ahead. There is Ultimate Cover Letter Guide. We have also Career Change. And there is uh, the other one is How to Quit Your Banking Job. Yeah. I can, I'll give you the link where you can download them. Don't worry, Richard. Um, okay. They're coming now. Vanessa, you're joining us in uh, Zimbabwe. Welcome. There is, uh, share the link of WhatsApp. Yeah. I'm going to share with you the link shortly. Don't worry. Stick in there. I'll give you all the links. Yes. Regina, you're saying you're ready. Vanessa, you're saying you're ready. If only you are ready. Oh, team YouTube now is up, uh, awake. Ah, Leda, you're saying you're ready. I can see MK saying you are ready. Eh? Good, good stuff, good stuff. So let me get started, yeah? And please make sure you keep on engaging me. Let me just come a little bit closer here. Or even come a little bit closer and tell you, I want you to engage. Because when you engage, this is when you will be able to retain the most, you will learn the most, and this information will have the biggest impact in your life. So when I pause to ask you to engage, please do that. There's a lot of content I want to give you today, so I'm going to really rush. Oh, more people coming in saying they're ready. Anthony, you're saying you're ready. Thank you very much. Catherine, I can see you're saying you're ready. Faith, you're saying you're ready. Oh, Faith, you're here again. We were with you last week. I like to see people who keep, up, uh, keep on coming because they are getting value out of this session. Why is it important to understand the psychology behind the questions? It is important for you to understand the psychology behind some of these questions that are being asked in an interview, because this will allow you to prepare more effectively by understanding the underlying motivation behind each question you can tailor your response to highlight relevant skills and experiences. And I think that is almost self-explanatory. If you don't understand the motivation behind, behind the question, 
You will just give out an answer, think it is the best answer, but if it is not serving to uh, satisfy the motivation behind it, it won't work. And so it is important for you to understand why it is being asked. What is the purpose of these interview questions? Number one, why they are asking you this question is because they want to assess your suitability. Are you the right candidate for us? Are you the best person to take up this role? And they're going to make that decision based on how you answer some of these questions. They are gauging, the second thing, your communication skills, your problem solving ability, and your culture fit. The only reason why you will be hired is because you have proved to them that number one, you have communicated your value. You have clearly communicated to them that this is the value that I am bringing on board. This is why I'm good at my job. Then they will want to know, are you helping us solve our problems or are you coming to be a problem yourself? And then are you going to fit into this culture? Because some people would be the best candidate in terms of skills, in terms of communication. But if they join us, they will be frustrated. They will not have the best life because it is not the right culture fit. So that is the purpose of these questions. So let me dive into question, the most common question, five most common questions. And uh, I will pose again, and I want to know from you, what is the one question that you would like to know how to answer in an interview? I know that might take a bit of uh, some time for you to think and to type it out. But in the course of this conversation, I want you to think about that and put that question in the chat. If we have enough time towards the end, as we do the Q&A session, I will try to help you answer those questions. Are we together? Catherine is saying you're ready. Thank you. Ebenezer, you say you're ready. Oh, in Liberia. Oh, good. Eric, you're saying you're ready. Yeah. So type in with the time. Yeah. Don't. No restriction, no, 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 no pressure. Don't feel like I need to post now. Just type in what is one question that you'd want to know how to answer in an interview. The number one question, 99.99%. When you go for an interview, chances of being asked this question as the first question is 99%. Yeah. Or what have I said? The chances of you being asked this question as the first question in an interview, tell us about yourself or tell me about yourself. It is 99.99%. And I can tell you most candidates mess up how they answer this question. So how do you answer? But before I tell you exactly how you answer, it is important for you to ask yourself, why is this question asked? It is being asked so that it can evaluate your communication skills, your personality, and your suitability for the role. So don't think they really, really want to know about you and where you come from and your family, that is not what they're interested in. As you answer that question, remember, it is an evaluation of your communication skills, your personality, and your suitability for the role. They want to see how do you communicate when you're put in a comfortable situation. Because an interview is not one of the most comfortable situations. It is that point where you are not so sure, you are somehow anxious, but how do you handle it? So your understanding of how your skills, experience, and qualification relate to the job that you are applying for. The other thing they are, they are also looking for, they are evaluating your understanding of how your skills, your experience, and qualification relate to the job that you're applying for. So when you're answering that question, know that they will be picking some signals to see, are you the best candidate for us. So that's the other thing that you also need to know. I want to give you some ground rules. There are some no-nos. What should you not say when answering this question? Your personal life, as I told you, they really, really don't want to know about you. Forget about family, your family and things to do with your family, religion, leave it, politics, don't even go there. It can just be uh, go south right from there. And the other thing I would say, always answer this question in form of a story. Most people are interested in listening to stories. Even you, you are more pulled into a story rather than some facts and figures, yeah? So those would be the two ground rules that I would ask you to follow through. So what is the formula? This is a four-step formula 
on how to, you can answer this question. Tell me about yourself. The first bit is to introduce yourself. Just say, my name is Daniel Motuko. Then from that, you go ahead and tell them your qualification and only relevant qualifications for that specific role. You might have done so many certifications, so many, uh, maybe a degree, a diploma, a master's, but if it is not relevant to that job, please don't mention it. Then go ahead and talk about your experience. In a narrow, short way, again, relevant experience that is related to that job. And most people do very well in these three steps, but most people miss the fourth step. Are you the one who misses this fourth step? You need to connect the dots. I say connect the dots. What is connecting the dots? It is trying to relate how your experience, how your qualifications have actually built you up to be the perfect candidate for that position. Don't wait or assume that they will know what, uh, how your qualifications and skills fit to that position. Make sure that you go ahead and connect the dots for them. This is how you do it. Now, it might look as a very big chunk of uh, text, but I will read it through and you will see how all these four parts fit into this uh, formula. So if you ask, tell me about yourself. I will give you an example and here I would say, my name is Daniel Motuku. I am an MBA holder from the University of Nairobi. Currently, I am studying Arabic in the same institution. Now, please note, if I talk about my Arabic, and I am applying for an Islamic banking kind of a role, then the Arabic is a relevant thing. And that is why I have mentioned it there. I would continue and say, I began my career at Equity Bank where I was a credit officer. I later joined NCBA Bank as a credit administrator officer and subsequently got promoted to be the credit manager. Currently, I am the credit manager in charge of higher purchase with a portfolio of about 250 million Kenya shillings. I have implemented a series of security procedures by introducing dual control functions, which were deemed 100% effective in administering credit control. I see that you are looking for someone who can manage credit risk, ensure compliance with regulators requirements and supervise a team of credit officers. From my previous position, I have done exactly that and succeeded in reducing bad debts, enhancing customer satisfaction and improving staff performance. I believe that I have the skills, experience and qualification that match your expectation. And I am confident that I can deliver excellent results if given this opportunity. Boom, mic drop. You can see I've highlighted, I've just introduced myself, I've talked about my qualification, I've talked about my experience, and then I have connected the dots for them. I have shown them this is my experience, this is how it makes me the best candidate for that job. You actually twist. Let me pull this closer. The secret is you have twisted the question from tell us about yourself to actually telling them why you are the best candidate for that position. Do you get it? Hope you do. Hope you do. I can see, oh, there's so many questions coming in here. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry, I got to uh, move off. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Okay, you can watch the replay. The replay. Uh, tell me about Catherine. Who is Catherine? Dreaded question. Hopefully that idea of tell me about yourself has given you some idea. And um, you can drop me an email with your sample answer and I can give you feedback. Yeah, This will be an additional free consultation service that you get. What about your strengths and weaknesses? I have that question as among the common questions. So hang on in there. I'll show you how to answer that. How much do you need in terms of remuneration? Oh, the salary question. Did I put it on my, no, 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 I didn't put it, but I can give you a resource where you can get that, yeah? But I can give you some ideas on how you answer that. What is the one thing that can make you leave the company in one month after joining? Oh, that is a tricky one, yeah? I can uh, highlight that. I can come back to that. There was one for the elimination. I can come back to that. Let me highlight it. 
Where do you think you, uh, why do you think you're the right person for this opportunity? I will tackle that because there's a question called, why should we hire you? Which can also be framed like that. So don't worry, that will be covered. Why do you think you're the right person? Oh, okay, I think I have uh, read that. Have you ever faced a setback? How did you handle it? Yeah, that is a good question. I will come back to that. Yes. So we are good. We are good. I can see you are good students. You're following instructions. And by the way, don't just enjoy this good content alone. Share it. Share it. If you're on Facebook, just there's a, uh, there's a button there saying share. If you're on YouTube, just say share. Let it go to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever. If you're on LinkedIn, just share. Because... I want you to bring this value to all your friends, yeah? Oh, good one, JYB, another follower. By the way, come to think of it. Uh, for those who keep on coming day in, day out, yeah? Let me just read your question. Uh, why are you doing um, Why are you doing a lower position than uh, the one you held earlier? Okay, that's a question I'll come back to. And because I have been seeing some people who have been coming here over and over. I do have some t-shirts here. I'll be giving them out. If you're in Nairobi, Kenya, that is easier. If not, I can see if I can send it around Kenya. Yeah? But for those who keep on following, I have this t-shirt called, I am a badass pro. I define my own future. Yeah, I hadn't thought about it, but I used to run a program. It's still on, but I can give you this t-shirt. So we'll create a criteria. And then I think I also have some notebooks. Uh, where are they? Not somewhere close. Yeah. This one's. I am a badass pro. I just thought about it, yeah? We should start giving out. So I have seen who was, was here. There was Faith. Um, JYP and Faith K. At least I saw you last time. So good. Why do you choose to move uh, from your former workplace we will tackle that we'll tackle that but let me not get derailed with so many stories the t-shirt the notebooks are here for you let me get back to the presentation so that is the first question tell us about yourself the second question one of the most common questions what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses already somebody had asked about that so this is how you go about it first to understand why are they asking this question they are assessing your self-awareness, how honest you are, and your suitability for the role. But if you ever say you don't have any weaknesses, that's already a lie. You're all human. We have weaknesses, and uh, that can kick you out of the job. And also, they will look at your strengths and weaknesses. Do they make you like the right fit for this position? So how do you go about answering the question? When you talk about your strengths, highlight skills relevant to the job and provide examples. So you say, this is my strength, this is how I used it, this is how it showcases. So this is a good, simple template you can use. You say, one of my key strengths is the ability to, then you can mention a specific skill and say, as demonstrated in my role, where I give example of where you successfully used that strength. Now, when it comes to strength, it might not be much of a problem because we don't have a problem talking about our strengths. But when it comes to weaknesses, that is where the challenge is. Yeah. So when it comes to weaknesses, then this is the guideline. Choose a genuine weakness and explain steps taken to overcome or mitigate it. Do not just say, number one, it should be a, an honest, genuine weakness. Don't just try to give them a good weakness. You know, I've seen people who try to give the fake weakness and say, oh, I'm, I, I really work hard. Because the message you want to send is that my weakness is that I'm a workaholic. I will spend too much time with, uh, at work. I will really do a very good job for you. They will see through that lie. So have a genuine weakness that you have. And then what are the steps that you're taking to really mitigate it? In an example, you can say something like, I used to struggle with, mention the weakness, maybe being patient. It might be not being able to delegate or taking too much stuff yeah but i have i have been actively working on improving by what are some of the specific actions that you're taking to really take care of that weakness 
In an example, you can say something like this. I used to struggle with time management, but I have been actively working on improving by implementing a few key strategies. In my previous role, I found myself occasionally overwhelmed with competing priorities and deadlines. Recognizing the importance of effective time management, I started using productivity tools such as time blocking and task prioritization to organize my work and, sorry. So I started using um, productivity tools such as time blocking and task prioritization task prioritization okay it has refused to come out of my mouth that is direct translation yeah task prioritization to organize my work more effectively in addition i enrolled in a time management workshop to gain practical steps and insights as a result i have significantly improved my ability to meet deadlines and maintain a more balanced workload I continue to refine these strategies to ensure ongoing improvement in my time management skills. Isn't that a good way to talk about your weakness? Oh my God, it was that far. Let me bring it closer. Uh, that's better, yeah? So that you, I even, let me even bring it closer, Kapisha. So let me reread it again so that you can see it when it is much closer, yeah? I used to struggle with time management, but I have been I have been actively working on improving by implementing a few strategies, key strategies. In my previous role, I found myself occasionally overwhelmed with competing priorities and deadlines. Recognizing the importance of effective time management, I started using productivity tools such as time blocking and task prioritization to organize my work more effectively. Additionally, I enrolled in a time management workshop to gain practical skills and insights. As a result, I have significantly improved my ability to meet deadlines and maintain and maintained a more balanced workload. I continue to refine these strategies to ensure ongoing improvement in time management skills. Don't you see how beautiful that it is? when you are able to really talk about your weakness and not as something that is holding you back, but something as you're working on to keep on improving, right? That is a good one. So the next question, number three, where do you see yourself in five years? I saw someone drop that also in the comment, yeah? Saying that would be a question they would want to know. Mary Dongo, great to see you. What are your career goals? Thank you. I'll actually take uh i'll answer that yeah so let's look at question number three where do you see yourself in five years the reason why they ask that question is to evaluate long-term commitment and ambition the reason why they ask that question to evaluate long-term commitment ambition and your career goals and mary Ndoko, this is where your question comes in. How do you talk about also your career goals? And I'll tell you this, this question might come in different ways. I once helped one of my friends who told me, he went to an interview and he was told, if we give you this role, and then three months down the line, another role opens in the same organization, but in a different branch, would you apply for it? And he said yes, and that is how he lost that opportunity. Because, yes, it is an opportunity within the organization, but that shows that he will not have settled even in his current job. He's already looking to go somewhere else. So they are looking at, can you really stay here with us long enough for us to teach you, to train you, and to have you on board? So how do you answer this question? Demonstrate alignment between your career goals and the company's objectives. Do not feel as if it is bad to have your career goals yeah very dogo you can have your career goals but make sure that you align those career goals with the company's objectives how can they see your goals helping them even achieve what they want an example you would say something like in five years 
I envision myself in a role where I have future. In five years, I envision myself in a role where I have further developed my skills in, then you can talk a specific area in whatever you do. And I have made significant contribution to the company or the industry. Yeah. I am eager to grow within the company and take on additional responsibility, additional responsibilities. So you're showing them that you are not in a hurry to go anywhere. You're going to stick with them. You're still going to draw, um, to develop yourself and they're going to benefit because you're going to contribute in that company, in that industry. And also you're looking at yourself having grown even being given more responsibilities in your role. That is how you manage that. Question number four. Describe a challenging situation at work and how you handled it. Yeah. Why do they ask this question? Basically, they are assessing your problem solving skills, your resilience, and your ability to navigate workplace challenges. Because I can assure you, there is no workplace that does not have its own challenges. And one of the key benefits that you're bringing in an organization is solving their problems. They are not very much interested in you. Not that you're the best person, but how do you come in and help them solve their problems? So if you showcase yourself as a problem solver, you have a much better chance of getting the job. So how do you answer this question? You can use the STAR method whereby you highlight the situation, the task, ask, uh, action, and the results that came. This is an easy structure that will help you uh, be able to give the answer in a very precise manner without giving too many stories or things that are irrelevant. You can have it in this kind of framework. You can talk about, in my previous role, we faced, talk about the challenge, I took the initiative by what is the action that you took leading to talk about the positive outcome. And then this experience taught me the importance of what are the lessons that you learned. Now, if you would want this structured um, framework, I can send you on the email or on WhatsApp. Actually, I can create a kind of, uh, what do you call it? A PDF. So if you want this structure, because this will be very important for you and it can be very helpful to you. By the way, if you want this kind of framework, let me know in the chat, drop in some thumbs up or say, yes, I need it. And then I can show you, by the way, if you're here, this is the link to join our WhatsApp group. So that when you see this kind of structure in my previous, this is the challenge I faced, then you can put in your challenge and then try it out. Try to read it out and see, does it make sense for me? Does it make sense for me? So if you want to join uh, WhatsApp, somebody had asked, what is the link? Just go to your browser and type in careerpoint.co.ke forward slash WhatsApp. It will direct you to join our community on WhatsApp. If you're on LinkedIn, uh, not LinkedIn, Telegram, just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash Telegram. I know a group in Telegram has more capacity. So that is why we have both. Yeah, I can see uh, Esther is saying, yeah, you did it. Hopefully you're part of the community on WhatsApp. Yeah. So I can, I'll upload them there. So let me go ahead. How then do you answer? And I want even to come closer. So let me give you an example. You can say something like this. In my previous role, we faced a challenging situation where we had an unexpected tight project deadline. The client had requested an accelerated timeline and our team needed to deliver high quality results within a significant shortened framework. I took the initiative by immediately conveying, I took the initiative by immediately convening a team meeting to assess the scope of the project, identify critical tasks and allocated responsibilities based on team member strengths. We also implemented a streamlined communication plan to ensure everyone 
was on the same page throughout the process. Throughout, um, through careful planning and collaboration, we were able to meet the challenging deadline and delivered the project successfully. The positive outcome was not only meeting the client's expectation, but also strengthening the cohesion and efficiency of our team under pressure. This experience taught me that the importance of adaptability, effective communication, and strategic planning is in navigating unexpected challenges in the workplace. And with that, you are able to really showcase you are a problem solver. You had a challenging situation at work, but you are able to really work through it. And we can see, oh, this is someone who can come in. Actually, it is called sometimes behavioral interview questions, whereby the idea is how you have dealt with issues in the past is the best predictor of how you can be able to deal with issues in the future. And that is why they ask such question. Now, today, I really am moving fast. I want to make sure that I am able to get to the Q&A session in, uh, in good time. So let me go through to question number five. Why should we hire you? I know there's someone who had highlighted that question. They wanted to know how do we answer that? Yes. Question number five. How do we hire you? The reason why they're asking this question is to evaluate your confidence, self-awareness, and understanding of the company's need. Do you know what the company needs based on your own assessment? And how do you also come in and help them solve their problems? How confident are you? Are you self-aware of your strengths and the things that you're bringing on board? That is what they're trying to test. So how do you answer this question? The first thing is, Align your skills and experience with the specific requirements of the job. This would be a good framework to use. I believe in my talk about the specific skill makes me an ideal candidate for this role. In my previous position, I was successfully, I successfully talk about the related achievement that you had. And I am confident that I can bring valuable contributions to your team by then highlight some of your key strengths. And this would be a very good framework. I'll give you an example. It might uh, be long, but it will make a lot of sense. So you can say something like this. Why should we hire you? I believe my strong project management and team leadership skills make me an ideal candidate for this role. In my previous position, I successfully led cross-functional teams to deliver complex projects on time and within budget. For example, I spearheaded a project that resulted into a 20% increase in efficiency and another where we exceeded client expectations leading to a 15% revenue growth. I am confident that I can bring value contribution okay uh, let me take that again i am confident that i can bring valuable contributions to your team by leveraging my strategic thinking and problem solving abilities my experience in talk about that industry or the field that you're in has equipped me with a deep understanding of the challenges and opportunities that your organization faces. Moreover, my proactive approach to identifying and implementing process, my proactive approach to identifying and implementing process improvement aligns with your company's commitment to innovation. I am excited about this opportunity. I am excited about the opportunity to contribute my skills and experience to help drive success within your organization. My proven track record of delivering results and my passion for this industry makes me confident that I would be a valuable asset to your team. Now, 
that might look as if it's a very long one. Yes, it is. But remember, you're trying to convince them why they should hire you. And the good thing is, when you write this down, you can read it over and over, practice it. But also, I want to caution you, don't try to cram it. Because when you go to an interview and you they see you reciting it, it will just sound fake. But you have the framework, you understand what is it that you want to communicate to them when you're talking about your ability to do that work and why they should hire you. Are we together? Hopefully we are. So I think, yes, I have some additional tips for you. Number one, when you get to that interview, make sure you maintain eye contact and confident body language. It is said sometimes the messages that we send, over 70% are from our body language rather than the words that we use. Make sure you tailor your responses to the company's values and culture. You might be asked, one question, different companies, but you will answer them differently so that you can fit to that company's values and culture. And finally, practice with a friend or a career coach to give you feedback. And that is why I do run interview, mock interview coaching, whereby I will take you through an interview session, whereby you, I will ask you questions, you will answer, and then I'll give you feedback, like you can add this, you can remove this, here you did well, here you need to remove this. So it is important for you to, even if you don't have the money to hire a coach like me, just a friend, tell them, hey, can we run a mock interview? And then you can give me feedback. The value that you can get, for you to get to that interview, these are the services that we offer. We offer professional CV writing, which will help you get yourself into that interview. We also offer cover letter writing or you get sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide. By the way, next week we'll be talking about LinkedIn. So if you're excited about LinkedIn, please make sure you show up here every Thursday live, 7.30. Next week is LinkedIn. And then we do also the mock interviews. If you want to take any of our CV writing services, you can send us your CV for a free review. And then once we do the review, we'll let you know how much it will cost. But on average, I can give you some of these uh, figures. Let me show you where you can send your CV for review. Oh, that is the free book. And it's easy. By the way, if you're on WhatsApp, just send me your CV. Uh, send chat me. And you will see, I'll give you the feedback, yeah? So when it comes to CV writing, yeah, by the way, join WhatsApp, send chat me. I think it is easier. Things have become much, much easier. The charges for our basic package, which you get the CV and sample cover letters, will range between 1,000 to 3,000 Kenya shillings or $10 to about $30. Or you can go for the advanced package where you get CV, professional CV, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. And the cost again is between 3,000 Kenya shillings to 6,000, or you can get it at around $30 to $60. I want to show you that this works. This is a message that, a series of messages that took place last week, not last week, towards the end of last month, yeah? So you can see this is someone say, I, I was asking her, good morning, did you receive, uh, we received the payment and we started working on your CV. Then she said, um, I asked her, we sent the CV via email, did you receive it? Yes, I received it. Then the next message is here. You can see she sent this message telling me, I sent my CV and cover letter after review that you did. And today I received this message. Thank you so much. So what was the message? Good morning, Anne. Following your application for the position of cashier at Clipneck Enterprise Limited, we are pleased to inform you that you have been shortlisted and you are hereby invited for an interview one-on-one -on -one interview in our offices and you can see it was friday 26th january yeah end of last this is last month yeah and this is to show you that the series that we do they will get you the interview another one here saying hey daniel thank you so much now these are screenshots from whatsapp and that's why i'm saying we converse a lot now on whatsapp Hey, Daniel, thank you so much. I received my final copy of my CV. I'm really grateful for the good work you people are doing. And indeed, I my initial CV was for the dustbin. I can't imagine how 
I came, um, how it came up structured so well and appealing to look at. I'm grateful. Actually, there's one I got this week. I shared also on the WhatsApp group. Yeah, someone saying, "Oh, I now understand why I've never gotten big call." I now understand why I never yet called for interviews when we did the series. Yeah, Stanley said, "You have helped me secure a job in two weeks." I have no better words to say. Thank you so much. I knew you at the right time. I don't regret what I spent for the CV review. Kudos. So, yeah, it works. I have a special offer for you. If you want to take the advanced package, you can go ahead and make the payment right now of only 2999 And this will give you the CV, cover letter, LinkedIn profile guide, and interview coaching. So if you're able to make the payment through the TIL number when we're here live, we'll be able to start working on it immediately tomorrow morning. But if you have already done the CV for you and you feel like probably the problem for me is not the CV, I need to go to the next level of my career, I invite you to join our Career Jumpstart Coaching Program. This program will help you get to the next level of your career. Now, this you, ha you have a chance to have a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We will help you get clarity in your career goal, and we also help you create a plan on how to achieve it. We'll help you identify and overcome any obstacles that might be holding you back. We'll help you develop a strategy for networking and building professional relationships, increasing your awareness and understanding of your strengths and areas that you need to improve. And then we have the one-on-one -on -one coaching call where we provide you with accountability, support to help you stay motivated and on track. So the special offer that we have for you tonight is if you just pay for 4,999, probably this will go for about 10,000. You get the Career Jumpstart Coaching Program. You get CV writing, the sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and the interview coaching. Let me put the tail number right there. You can make the payment right now when we're here live, and then I can be able to sign you up. By the way, if you make the payment, let me know in the chat. If you make that payment, let me know in the chat. I want to go and pick now the questions that are coming here. Yeah? I want to get to the questions. Share the link, WhatsApp link. I did a CV and cover letter done. I can't, um, can it be done in a day? Yes. It can be done within 24 hours. That is normally what we say, within 24 hours. So do this. Probably the If you just go to your browser on your phone, just type careerpoint.co.ke forward slash WhatsApp. You will end up on our WhatsApp group. Yeah, it will direct you there. Then you can join and reach out. That's okay. Yeah, there it is. I think that was the next thing that I was to show you. Join us on WhatsApp. You can also join us on Telegram, careerpoint.co.ke forward slash Telegram. Both of these, you need to go to you need to go to the browser. Just type it and then it will redirect you. Is that okay? All right, I wish I can get to, but that link does not work with LinkedIn. I wish I had the direct link. But anyway, that is what we have for now. Next week, we're talking about LinkedIn, yeah? How do you use LinkedIn to get these jobs? That will be for focus for next week. And I'm now open to questions and answers. Type in your questions. I will also try and highlight some of the questions that are here that already came in. What is that one thing that can make you leave the company in one month after joining us? Okay. They want to see what, what are your limits? What are your values? What is it that you can't really do? Yeah. And uh, if you say something to do with integrity, something to do with uh, your values, something to do with the uh, company values and uh, culture, that would work well for you. Uh, that is the reason behind. And then you can be able to structure your question around that. Hope that was helpful. Yeah. Is that okay? Let me check another one I had highlighted. How much should do you need uh, in terms of rumination? I'll tell you this. I don't know if you can uh, see this. Let me do this. There's a video I've done very clearly on um, this. So since you're on YouTube, just search Daniel Mutuku salary expectations. And you can see a video where I really go deep in terms of 
depending with who is asking you that question, how do you answer? But just to give you a high level answer, and then such Daniel Mutuku salary negotiation, salary expectation kind of uh, uh, thing. I am going to showcase that right now. And then as I answer, ah, today we are going to finish in good time. So don't worry, don't you worry. Let me share my screen. So when you're on my channel here, hopefully you can see. Yeah. So when you're on my channel, Daniel Mutuku, I think you can search here. Salary. Negotiation. Is it recent that way? If I can. Oh, yes. Here it goes. So go watch this video. It's just 13 minutes about the best way to answer that question. But for now, oh, you can see it. You see this video here? When you just search salary negotiation, there's this video you're saying salary. Yeah. Watch it. It will be of benefit. But because you're here now, why not give you some uh, answers? Number one, I want you to uh, don't let that question come from you. Always, when it comes about uh, salary, let it come from the other party. When it comes, do not give a range. Initially, I used to give that advice. Give a range between 10 to 50 or 40 to 50 or 60 to 70, depending where you are and what is the currency. Yeah? Give a figure. You know clearly what you need or how much maybe the industry um, range is in that specific role. So tell them, I'll be happy if I'm paid 100,000. But I'm open to negotiation. I also wanted to know from your end, what had you budgeted for this position? So you have answered the question so that, and then open it up that you're open to negotiation. And also you're asking that the question, what, what the budget was. Um, do not really feel afraid of discussing figures and don't be very anxious and feel as if you're going to offend anyone when you're talking about the money. Yeah. So probably that would be the high level answer, but I want you to go watch that video in details. Yeah. What is the next question here? Have you ever faced a setback? How did you handle it? Similar to how did you deal with the challenging situation? So yes, we have all faced setback. Have a bit two or three more stories at the back of your mind, yeah? So that when these questions come, you can easily pick a scenario. What is a setback? What is a challenge that you faced? What did you learn from it? Still use the STAR method or SAR. What was the situation? What was the task at hand? What specific actions did you take? And what was the result that came out? Yeah. So I might not give a general answer, but you can go back, think about your... Your, your own experiences and how they fit in. Is that okay? Why are you going for a lower position than the one you held earlier? Okay, there might be several reasons, but I here I would say, I want you to be very honest. Sometimes we go for lower position because probably our job ended, you are declared redundant, you don't have a job. So at that particular point, you have to take another job. Sometimes you might give up a big position because of your values, and your integrity, you would say, I wouldn't do such a thing. It's better for the job to go, and I maintain my integrity. It might be so many reasons, but I want you to think about how honest can you be when you're giving that answer, but at the same time, showcase your value, showcase uh, what you stand for, and how the company are going to benefit from such a decision that you had made earlier. Is that okay? Ah, thank you very much. I can see Chilobo, you're saying you have already paid. Thank you. We will keep in touch. Let me even drop in my email. Send me your CV. We will start working on it. The, uh, if the WhatsApp does not come as quick as we would want, an easier way would be drop that and then email. Yeah, drop it on email. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I like people who take action right away. Um... Fabrice from the, oh good Fabrice I know we have been in communication we'll still finish up our communication and get there display the whatsapp link again so I have put the whatsapp it's just careerpoint.co.ke forward slash whatsapp 
or drop me an email. Sometimes I wonder, should I put my number here? But I think it is already public domain. So let me give you my number. Don't call me tonight. Call me tomorrow, yeah? If you're in Kenya, let me start by... That's 254-2795. So, by the if you can save my number and then say, add me to the group, it becomes easy, yeah? So, yeah, that's my direct number. But please don't call me at night. But during the day, anytime, I will answer your call. I hope that one is much better, yeah? Then I can easily add you even to the group. Any more question? I think that is it. And I'm glad that today we have kept time. Right, 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 right. Even 8.30 will find us gone. If someone comes in after 8.30. Any last question? Poop. I think one more has just come in. And then this will be the last one, and I call it a day. Yeah. For remote jobs, I usually see employer say 401. What does it mean? I have no idea. It depends maybe with the context. Yeah. Depending with the context. 401. Unless there's someone, or I can Google what does 401 mean? Yeah. Just a quick one. Let me see. I don't know, by the way, I'm just being honest, but I'm just quick uh, doing a search here. Um, in the context of uh, remote jobs, the term 401 does not refer to a specific job number code 401. Ah, it might refer to the 401k, yeah? yeah I think it is a re retirement benefit in the US, yeah? 401k. It's a type of retirement uh, saving plan for uh, employers to their employees. So it's like NSSF, NHIF. Is it NSSF thing? But in the US, probably they're talking about that 401k. Is that okay? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am glad that today we have kept time. It is 8 or 29, so we can close it. But as before we close, as I always say, I would want to know what would you say is one or your key takeaway from the session? I don't want you to leave without really talking what was your takeaway. So for the next two minutes or so, type it out you know, in the chat. What would you say is your greatest takeaway? What is the one question that you just learned how to answer and probably you have been doing the opposite and shooting yourself in the foot over and over. What is that question? Let me know in the chat. I will be reading them in the next three, two minutes and we can call it a day. Thank you very much. Or you can just say bye as I do the call out as I finish up. Catherine, um, thank you very much for taking your action and joining me here today. I can see paid. By the way, if you are paid and you're also with me here live, it's good. Let me know that you're paid, yeah? Ah, uh, that is good. That is good. Ah, uh, Esther, of course, you have said what your takeaway was. Uh, what are your weaknesses? You have learned how to answer the question, what are your weaknesses? And now I'm sure you'll do a much better job in your next interview. Tell about yourself. You have learned how to answer that question. Tell me about yourself. Remember the four steps, just the introduction, then your qualification, your experience, and then connect the dot of them. How does your experience, qualification, and experience build you up to be the right candidate for this position? Zaydev, thank you very much. Faith K, you're saying, be honest, realistic, align your goals to the organization's goals and objectives. Oh, at least some people got something, yeah? You know, this really also puts my, my, I make feel good about myself. That I didn't just waste a whole hour talking here. Something, people got something from it. And especially team YouTube. I would like everybody to go to YouTube, follow, and make sure you subscribe. By the way, when you subscribe on YouTube, that is one way that you support me. I know I bring these trainings here every Thursday, 100% for free. 
and this is something that you would probably have paid somewhere for these services but just for you to support me and to keep me going subscribe to the channel by the way i don't know how many people are here with me live if we can have each one each one just subscribe if you're on linkedin please go to youtube just search daniel Mutuku. subscribe if you're on facebook go to youtube search daniel Mutuku. subscribe it will mean a lot to me so that's one way that you can support me to keep on bringing this value every thursday 100 percent free okay where are we to be honest objectives Catherine, you say i learned i need um i learned a lot i need a job so we'll be contacting you to fix my cv thank you very much oh yeah if we had give the number now international you can reach me out on whatsapp it's easier that way personally i am shy but i will try to maintain eye contact yeah by the way when it comes to eye contact it does not mean just look them in the eye throughout like this yeah just have an occasional time where you look into the eye sometimes not might not be the eye just one part of their face yeah maybe their forehead maybe the nose but of course don't look as if you're staring and fixated on that one point the nose the forehead the mouth the lips or whatever but once in a while yeah even if you're shy you can be able to pull that out yes Benidongo answering um interview answers should not be stories yes you should have them in a story format but not just stories endless stories without a structure or you don't know why you're just answering them is that okay uh good okay good um going to do it tomorrow yes let's figure out and finish up that tomorrow and how are we getting the t-shirts for the butters pro and the diary i know you have joined the program so let's talk i have them in the office our offices are in nairobi kenya those who are international um if you can find your way to mindelo house opposite adversary towers third floor go ask for yourself we have the t-shirts several t-shirts and you also get your diary so i'll be rewarding people who will be showing up here every day and you have your t-shirt and your notebook diary thank you very much that has been my time i really appreciate you make sure you also share this conversation with everyone with your community whatever let them get this value and until next week boom i'm out oh there's one more salary negotiation that was your takeaway 